the scene, welcome to a Honda Civic with Rob who's dying of laughter in the bathroom because he hasn't met the Adam C version of me before. <laughs> <He's> just... <laughs> and uh, yes, this video is brought to you by Cardo.com, the online place for finding information about all the car shows that I go to and all the ones around the country, including Beaulieu Auto Jumble, which is where I'm heading to today. So we're driving through the new forest, there are horses everywhere. Morning. And yes, we are going to the Beauty Auto Jumble, which I've never been to before, and I don't think Rob's ever been to before, and we're going to look around and go shopping. So I am documenting our shopping trip today, so enjoy. <laughs> Honda Jazz means definite Auto Jumble Nigel. We're going to see a lot of Nigels today. Oh, there we go. Go on, Nigel. Come on. Here, boy. Overtake. Oh. Ha, 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 Oh, look, they, they fenced it off with all the Nigels so they can do car spotting when the cars leave. It's not that kind of event. I think people arrive on foot, so made it safe. Oh, there's a car park in there. It's got to be huge. It's oh, be God. Huge. Should I not have gone in there? I don't know. Oh. Well, these Nigels walking to buy some stuff. <gasps> car park spotting. Austin 7, so cute. 944. Oh, my God. Such slow, many talk. Is that wheel spin? It's actually quite steep. It is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and today I'm sporting a work sack because I might buy some stuff. Look at all these massive vehicles. Everyone's expecting to buy, like, a whole car in parts. Oh wow! E30 and a Volvo Amazon just parked up. Why have I gone to Cornish? There's actually police everywhere. Are you expecting hooliganism? Oh. Uh, I know, right? Sadly, pickpockets may be in attendance oh, this site. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Where there's cash money, that's it. Pickpockets. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. We're in. There is actually a car section showing cars and stuff, as well as stuff. I think they could be for sale. Now, we've got to remember what we're here for. We're not here to go car spotting. Ooh, there's so much crowd around. Look at that beetle. Schweppes. Oh, I could do so much car hunting. It's only a grand. Seven. Seven grand. Uh, okay, let's let's have a look at this um, Ferrari. This is some kind of kit car with like Ferrari logos and Mitsubishi GTO headlights. And there's even Ferraris stitched on the seats. I don't know what's going on. Great. That seems legit to me. All of that, yes. Yes. What is it, Mark 1 MR2? It's an MR2, yeah. Some kind of MR2. Oh, no, no. Was it a Mark 3? Yeah, yeah, could be. So yeah. but they've made a Ferrari that isn't actually a Ferrari out of and something that isn't a Ferrari, but they've made it look like a Ferrari. So people think it's a Ferrari, but it's not actually a Ferrari, it's just an MR2. But it's got, what are they like? Peugeot 206 wheel lights. Yeah, very Ferrari. Yeah, that's cool. It's not cool. It's a, it's a Ferrari. Oh, 3.3700. 3, that's, that's a bargain. That is a bargain. Probably, yeah. It's not rusty. MG Midget. <clears throat> I don't need one. I don't... Wow, there's a really happen, yellow yeah. Testarossa. Well, no, he, I mean, he was broke. When do you see a yellow Testarossa? He was broke. Never. Today, yeah. apparently. <laughs> His grandfather died. So that's the shopping section. That's where all the Nigels and Shirleys are hanging out. But first, we have been drawn over to this yellow Testarossa. Oh, there's an auction going on. Yes. Yeah, historics. Oh, OK. So they're always at the... Yeah. International. I see. Oh, TVR Griffith. <laughs> so he's one of these types, seen better days. Z3M, Roadster Coupe, Roadster. <laughs> a couple of P1800s, including a barn find. You can buy it in all its lovely state. I don't think this will have an MOT. Quite a nice feature. Good airflow, aerodynamics. They were thinking ahead of their times back in the 70s. I found a Nigel C3046. Yeah. Got a red bag and oh, it's a Nigel C3046. Oh, he stopped. Oh my god, it's the start of the stands. I'm gonna buy so much. So busy. So many Nigels everywhere. Oh, Nigel's bought a parking sign. F50. So I don't really. Yes. Buy them. So many things here that I want to buy that I really shouldn't buy. Hey, Joe. <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> what did you buy? Um, a of penny farming. All this, all this old stuff it. here. Then Garmin suction cup mount. Where else would you pay £55 for a non horny horn? They've made like decoration out of old Nokias. There's a definite theme going on here. So I am attending the Goodwood Revival next weekend and there is a whole section for old outfits. This is brilliant. I'm going to dress up like an old person, like a Nigel. Sometimes acronyms are just not the best idea. No, sometimes you just shouldn't have an acronym. No, what, what, how, how? <laughs> Seemed like a good idea at times. Yeah, sometimes you should just avoid the acronym. No, I don't know, I'll use one of them. Oh, nice bit of wankle. Rob's buying a mini badge. First purchase. Oh yeah, Rob's got a mini by the way. That's, he's not just... Um, a mega van. There we go. Yeah, there are. AC. 70s go faster strikes for the rice of the day. I absolutely want this. It's only £95. I spotted something look. It's that advert over there. It's my phone. Oh, yeah. Yes. This is me all over. I love all this stuff. Yes. Yes. 
Yes. My first purchase, got it for £10. What a bargain, what a steal. Basically, they only make these in soft pack now, so hardback's rare to come by. <laughs> Bit of me. Oh my god, it looks just like my old TVR. So they say, if you can't find it here, it doesn't exist. Ah, yes, that's what I was after. Yes, I'd like to buy the nose of a Formula car. Treating the Mazda to some nice dust caps. I like valve caps. Blue. I wanted some triangular ones because wankle, but no. Should I notify my insurance of this extreme modification? Would it be extremely nerdy of me to buy this? I think so. Nice addition to the bench, ladies over 40. Free sitting, everyone else cost a pound. Wow, it's Tower Bridge. Oh, spotted, MGC. I think this is a whole MG section. I actually need some kick plates. So for ideas to do to my RX-8, how about this? Oh, a full size MGB. I could just, does that fit in your boot, do you reckon? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I love lamp. All these things. <laughs> I think Chloe texted me at the time I was touching this. I think, is that a sign? That's a bit weird. I think that's a sign. I might, I might, you know, a bit of fun. Yeah. Okay. Yes. <gasps> well, pin in for, oh. Oh my God, there's more. I did not know that Bewley had an upper field. There's so much to look at. We probably looked at up to half and we spent like three hours here. Spotted. Oh, wait, no, spotted. There's, oh, much. I could get a steering wheel. I could get a whole new car. New bumpers. I need new bumpers. And what? Should I get some new bumpers? Cobra and MG, they're in the wrong colours. So many parts for my MG. I need these, I need those, I need that. For the early car, you Yeah, I bought some kick plates for my MGB. Ten repair, bargain. Do I look like an idiot? Solar panel Citroen. Why, hello there. So much random, like, junk. I need to be careful where I turn, I will cut some and knock them out. Oh, Austin Healy. Frog Eye Sprite, he's enjoying life with a spliff and some beers. And here we have the inspiration behind my number 88 on my Cobra. <laughs> Down the Cobra section. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh. Wow. And I used to pack that sort of thing for his misses. All British. Yeah, look at the fire. There's a baller there. That is falling. So close to my one. Mm, what would I like today? Oh yes, that's what I came for. A Fiat fridge. Right on my list of things to buy in life. Someone's been just ram raiding co-op for all their signs and trying to flog them. And what was that E36 we like? Oh yes, there's my back okay. of a plane that I was after buying today. The fin of a I don't know what? It's just what? Uh, engine blocks and AC. Yeah, oh yeah. Huh? Six cylinder. Oh, Temptations, temptations. Oh my God, 250 pounds. Want. Dodging, there's an old postman pat van over there. And whatever that is. Yes, I'd like to buy your sexy lady, please. It's actually a life-size Jaguar. That's what it is. BMW, oh, big master sign. I said I wanted a big master sign. <sighs> so, I'm exhausted. Adult hit the street. That tent's doing a wheelie. You know, we've got like a third to a half of it left and only like half an hour to do it in. Let's go. Uh, 35 quid, is that, I don't know, is it too much? Uh, uh, so much to look at. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, another purchase. Pink F1 GTR, yeah. I am such a child. Oh my God. Weathered go-kart. Let's take that down Sloan Street. Have a look at a rotary in action. Am I now a wankle? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yes. That should be better than the rusty one that's on it. What bought an exhaust was mini. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Rob now wins the biggest thing award. I need to buy something bigger now, but it's like after 5 p.m. It's actually officially shut now. Oh look, they've, they've stolen one of the beauty auto jumble signs and they're trying to flog it. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. 795 pounds, thank you very much. I just nicked it from down the road. <gasps> Yes, I'll take the, the small dog, please. Oh, Nigel's bought some boxes. Oh, Honda Civic. Right, so that is it. No more shopping. What? How did I not see that Cobra? Oh my God, it's a Dax as well. Ooh, automatic. Ooh. Oh, it's got a little air wheel on the back. Ah, uh, yes, the common problem my red is coming off my Cobra badge as well. So yeah, that is a fairly early Dax kit. At least a bit like mine, not quite the same. That engine is really squished in there. Oh no, someone's done a wee. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. So I've already bought that from here before, but now I get to buy this. Yeah, spend, spend, spend. Wow, post-event spotting, a proper old-fashioned what? hot rod. It's a Ford, I could tell you that before. That is mint. 
You are parks on a plinth, my friend. Coming off the mound. Oh my god. Ooh. Bye bye. Look at this branded up Morris Minor. Look at that bolt out. Nah. 48. Oh, it's out of focus. There's a 48. No. Yes. Focus. Focus. Oh, viewers who have got this far get to watch the cars leaving a car show. Yes. Max power. Tour I buy, MG end plates, Cobra t-shirt, Pinion Farina badge, Mazda Rosa badge, Mazda Unos badge, Mazda Mazda badge, F1 GTR, valve caps for the RX-8, and an MGB Haynes manual that's somewhere in there. Yeah, spotting on the way home. Beautiful. Right, so I am back home and I might as well, well, no time like the present, put the valve caps on the RX-8. They say you should put Vaseline on them to put them on, but I don't really care. My dog's barking. Come here, come on. There you go. Sit. Good girl, Roxy. Right. Uh, yeah, it's an alright match. Little things. Little things make me happy. Haters would say it looks awful, and it does. Next, it's time to show my little friend. So here's a car that hasn't actually seen you on the channel for quite a while. My MG. So I want to get a bit of work done on this car, and I've been waiting to do some stuff, so I haven't actually used it all summer. But here it is. It's still here, and I've got some plates for it. So as you can see, the... Original ones don't actually have any MG on them anymore, so... Wait, wait, eh. Much better, but yes, good purchase. So to answer a few questions, yes, the car does still drive, it does work, but it needs a, a few things done. I thought whilst I'm getting the things done, I might as well go the full way and get a respray. It doesn't really need one, it's just got a bit of rust and some of the colours don't match on the sills versus the rest of the car and the, the roof as well because this wasn't an original sunroof, it was put in afterwards so the colours are a bit rubbish so I might as well get a full respray whilst doing everything else and I just haven't bothered sorting it out. So the last time I drove this on camera was in the snow uh, when it snowed back in March, February time so it's been over half a year since I last really featured this car but it does still work. I drove it about a few weeks ago and it's absolutely fine it's just the exhaust is blowing at the manifold and somewhere here in the exhaust the carbs need to tune up so it's shooting frames out the back and the clutch is probably on its way out the release bearing definitely needs replacing so I might as well get the whole clutch replaced because the boot is a bit worn and it's just it needs quite a bit so I've got some kick plates for it it's not really <laughs> the start of it but here it is nice to see it back I've also got a uh, isolator fit that I bought about three or four years ago <laughs> that I haven't actually bothered fitting but Hey ho. But yes, the car is still in my possession. It's still taxed and MOTs and insured. I can drive it whenever I want, but I just haven't been. So uh, it's a bit of a shame. But yes, I hope you enjoy this little video. My uh, my first time at Beaulieu Auto Jumble, and I'm sure I'll come back later. There's the spring one, maybe to buy some more parts of this once it's being reworked a bit more and I know exactly what I want. So don't forget to follow me on Instagram for all those updates on this car and everything else. But for now, thanks for watching.